Yo, big news just dropped for the Flipper Zero's mysterious big brother, the Flipper One. We've got our hands on new design images and the first bits of official documentation are starting to appear. I'm Jay Blanked and today we're going to get into what we know about this new Linux powered beast, why it's a dream for hardware hackers, and most importantly, why it's not here to replace your Flipper Zero. Okay, so the Flipper One is finally on the horizon, but I need to say this up front, this is not a Flipper Zero 2. The creators have been super clear that this isn't a replacement, it's a whole new category of device. So if you're about to list your Flipper Zero on eBay or Facebook, just pump the brakes. We're going to look at the powerful new Linux-based hardware and that M2 slot to figure out who should actually think about upgrading and who's better off sticking with the OG. So if you use the Flipper Zero, you know it's a legend for a reason. It's really the ultimate pocket-sized multi-tool for anyone curious about radio, security, or just how things work. Think of it as a techie Swiss army knife. The magic is that everything's built in, the sub gigahertz, the NFC, the RFID, and infrared, it's all there right out of the box. This all-in-one design plus its fun, almost toy-like vibe in a huge open source community makes it awesome for hobbyists and quick jobs. But in my opinion, its simplicity is also its weakness. The chip it runs on is efficient, but it was never meant for heavy lifting. It's definitely a jack of all trades, but a master of none. For the really complex stuff, you eventually just hit a wall. And that wall is where the Flipper One comes in. This thing is a totally different beast. We're not talking about an evolution, it's literally a different species altogether. The Flipper team has described it as a portable Linux computer, that one feature running a real Linux OS changes everything. Now this opens the door to running some seriously powerful software. While nothing is officially confirmed, the hardware suggests you could run thousands of professional grade tools right from the device. Imagine firing up Wireshark for network analysis or scripting on the fly with Python. There's even some speculations about running basic AI models directly on the device. So it's like trading in your Swiss army knife for a whole workshop. The hardware philosophy is where you really see the split. The Flipper Zero is famous for having all its radios built in. Now, based on the unofficial designs we've seen, the Flipper One seems to be ditching that integrated approach. Now, keep in mind, this could change before the final release, but instead, it's expected to have a modular M2 slot. Now, that's huge. It means you can slot in whatever you need for the job, like a powerful SDR, another Wi-Fi card for pen testing, or maybe even an LTE modem for remote access. This modular design isn't just flexible, it might also help it sidestep some of the regulatory drama the Flipper Zero ran into. And connectivity also looks to be getting a major upgrade. The new designs show a 24-pin GPIO header for serious hardware projects, and there are rumors of built-in Wi-Fi and an Ethernet port. It's less of a single tool and more of a build-your-own platform. Now, if you're seeing how these two devices are built for two different missions, do me a solid and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out and it's free. So this brings us the big question, should you upgrade? The thing is, it's not about which one is better, it's all about which one is right for you. You should probably stick with your Flipper Zero if you're a hobbyist, a student, or just starting to explore radio tech. Its simplicity, portability, and all-in-one design are perfect for learning and messing around without getting bogged down in complexity. It's still the king of grab-and-go radio hacking, and it's not going anywhere. 
but you should seriously consider the flipper one if you're an engineer a security researcher or a pro pen tester who needs a flexible high performance platform if you ever wish you could run professional tools natively without lugging a laptop into the field or if you need the raw power of a modular pocket sized computer then the flipper one is being built with you in mind at the end of the day, the Flipper One isn't a Flipper Zero killer, it's more like it's pro level companion. They're two totally different tools for different jobs, one's for exploring and the other for serious professional work. While the Flipper One is still in development with no confirmed release date or price, its path is still clear. It's not the simple successor you might have expected, it's something way more powerful. So what do you think? Are you sticking with the all-in-one convenience of the Zero, or are you tempted by the raw power of the Flipper 1? Drop a comment below and let me know your game plan. For those excited for the Flipper 1, what is your favorite anticipated feature? I'm Jay Blinked, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for future Flipper One content. Peace.